In this video, we're going to see how you can get a free work email address. Hello, I'm Philip Burton of IDoData.com. So why might you want a work email address? Well, if you try to sign up with Power Apps or Power BI with a non-work email address, you'll find that you can't. So these are addresses with at hotmail.com, at gmail.com, at outlook.com. So if you try to use one of these email addresses while signing up, you'll get the error message, you entered a personal email address. These enter your work email address so you can securely store your company's data or that looks like a personal email address. Enter your work email address so we can connect you with others in your company. So how can you get this address? Well, in this video, we're going to look at various ways in which you can obtain that work email address. Now, not all of them will be available in all countries. One of them, for instance, stopped working around two weeks before the creation of this video, but I have alternative ways. So if you find the first way does not work, please go on to the second, please go on to the third. And if you find a way that works, why not put a comment in the comments to this video stating what country you're from and what way worked for you. So let's start. Well, one way is to sign up to Microsoft Office. So here I have Googled Office 365 E3 and here is my link on Microsoft.com and I click on that. It gives me Microsoft 365. So that is the new name for Office 365 for up to five PCs or Macs. But you're saying, hang on, I don't want that. I just want an email address. However, if I scroll down, what I also get with Office 365 E3 is not just Office 365, but also a business class email. Now you can say, look, the cost is around $30 per user per month. I don't want that just to get an email address. Well, you might not have to. You can see that there is a free trial available. So if you click on that, you can get a free 30 day trial. You can then use Office 365 if you wish to, but you will also have a work email address set up and it will remain set up even if you do not continue with the trial. Now there's also Office 365 E5, and if I scroll down, that's around $45 a month. It also includes Power BI Pro. So this is the paid for version of the Power BI service. Office 365 E3 doesn't come with that. So if you are wanting to use Microsoft Office 365, then you might want to consider E5 if you do want to be able to share your visualizations. However, there is another catch. Let's say I wasn't in the United Kingdom. Let's say I was in India. So I'm going to change this to the Indian version. So I'll change GB to IN. And you'll notice now, if I stay in India English, there is no free trial. So this is not going to work if you don't have a free trial. So what can you do? Well, first of all, you need an email address. Now, if you don't have an email address, then you can get one by going to signup.live.com. And this will allow you to get either a hotmail.com or an outlook.com email address. Now that is still a personal email address. So I'm just going to get a new email address. So I'm going to say fill it and then just add some numbers after it and click next. So now I need to create a password. So there's my password. Would I like information, tips and offers? No, I wouldn't. Click next. And what is my name for my email and my date of birth? So you enter that and click next. So then you need to prove that you are not a robot. So I'll click next and solve this little puzzle and then click submit. So once I click continue, and yes, I want to stay signed in, I now have a new personal email address. But how does that allow me to get a work email address? Well, you just need to have an email address to start with. So now you've got that, what you can then do is sign up for the Microsoft 365 developer program. So you can see that I've just Googled Microsoft 365 dev program. And here we can see the developer program. 
So if I click on that and then click join now, so the computer is signing me in with my new outlook.com email. So I just need now to answer a few questions and accept terms and conditions. Click next. What's my primary focus? So it's going to be for personal projects. I'm most interested in the Power Platform, which Power BI is part of. Click save. And I want an instant sandbox. And notice that this instant sandbox includes an email address. And you can see that the email address ends dot on Microsoft dot com. So here we can see a sample email address. So I just want an instant sandbox and then scroll down to the bottom, click next and enter a admin username and password. And if I scroll up, you can also see a country or region for your data center. We're not actually going to be using Microsoft 365 Developer Program as part of this course. We just want that work related email address. So I'll put in my admin username and a password. Click continue. I need a telephone number. So this is a number that can support SMS or text messaging. So I'll put it in there and then I'll click send code. And interestingly, even though this is a valid telephone number for the United Kingdom, it requires me not to include the first digit. So I'll put in my phone number and click send code. So I've done all of that and now I'll click on set up. So now it's setting up my developer subscription now. So it will only take about a minute. So I'll pause the video here and let it complete. Well, it's been over a quarter of an hour and it's still being set up. However, in my email to my new address, you can see welcome to your Microsoft 365 E5 instant sandbox. And what I'm going to do now is click on sign in to your Microsoft 365 developer program account. And here you can see my work email, which ends with dot on Microsoft dot com. So this is how you can get a work email address for free and then use it to sign in to Microsoft services, such as the Power BI service. In late January 2024, Microsoft seems to have switched off applications for the Microsoft 365 developer program for countries such as India. So here is another alternative. So I've just Googled Microsoft 365 for business one month trial. And if I click on it, we'll go to the British version, which says try free for one month. And you can see that this includes business class email, get professional email and calendaring. And indeed it does include Outlook. So let's change the website from microsoft.com slash en hyphen GB to en hyphen IN for India. And you can see it is also available with a free trial and afterwards is around 770 rupees. So again, you can get business professional email and calendaring with Outlook. So if you're in India, this is the current best advice to get a free business email. Use Business365 for business. So you can just Google Microsoft 365 for business one month trial and then you can then try free for a month, following which you should still have access to a professional email address. Well, thank you for watching this video. Now you have this business email address, you can sign into services such as Power Apps and the rest of the Power Platform and Power BI. But if you'd like to know how to use them, then I hope you go to our website, idodata.com where we have plenty of videos on how to use both the Microsoft Power Platform, which includes Power Apps, Power Automate, and we've also got best-selling course on Microsoft Power BI. And most of our courses follow the requirements of Microsoft certifications or Microsoft Applied Skills Assessments. So after completing our courses and with a bit of practice, you'll be able to enter these exams and assessments and get them for yourself. They would look great on your CV or resume. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did find a way that worked for you, please put it in the comments to this video so you can let everyone else know what works for you. And please put your country as well. If you like this video, then please click like. 
And why not subscribe and click that bell? That way you'll be notified of any new videos. I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Thanks for watching and keep learning.